Hello YouTubers, this is Cessna Ace back again with another 10 video ads video. Now, I'm going to have to try and make this as short as possible because that intermittent sound problem is back. Enough of that. Um, so, I'm going to try to do this uh, real quick. Now, even though these are VHS tapes, I enter in my VHS tapes at the online database DVD Aficionado. They release, uh, or they cover releases worldwide in the DVD and Blu ray formats. But they also allow you to create folders for other formats and then place uh, releases in there. Uh, I have folders for VHS, VCD, CED, UMD, Laserdisc. Uh, you get the idea. And then they have over 8,000 uh, films that are placeholder entries. These are films that have not yet been released on DVD or Blu ray but uh, people want to add them to their folders. I haven't had a lot of luck submitting uh, titles as new submissions or placeholders, but I was able to get this one uh, accepted. Any Place But Home, made for TV movie from 97, I think, if I remember correctly. Features in the cast, Alan Thick. if you remember who he is. Rather surprised that uh, a release from a major company like Universal hadn't, hasn't been released on DVD yet, but then I know that there are others that I have on video that haven't been released on DVD or Blu-ray yet either. Obviously, this is a rental copy. Tampering with this label requires you to purchase this item for $99.95. Now, you might think that is high. It is high. But when the original Star Wars movie first came out on uh, VHS and Betamax, it was $120. $120 for a VHS tape. They held off releasing it on Laserdisc because Laserdiscs are not copy protected. So they waited until everybody who was going to spend $120 uh, for a tape did so. And that included a lot of disgruntled uh, video rental stores. Then they released it on Laserdisc. But the first release, which I have, is time compressed so they can get it all on one disc. But I also have a subsequent re release, which is on two discs, which is not time compressed. This is from director Barry Levinson. It was part of his Boston Chronicles trilogy, Avalon. I have the other two films in the trilogy, Diner, which I have on DVD, and Ten Men, starring Danny DeVito and Richard Dreyfuss. So I have that on VHS. Now I went through all 60 or so tapes that I had yet not shown and I put them all in alphabetical order so these are all in alphabetical order. I've still got a huge backlog of laser discs, by huge I mean over 20. I received a couple more this week and I've got another order I'm waiting on of seven or eight titles. So I'm going to have to be showing those too. Anime series called Bastard. This is Venom, and includes episodes 3 and 4. This is English dubbed. And was released by Pioneer Entertainment. Bastard Exodus. This includes episodes 5 and 6. Now, most of the anime I've been finding at the flea market has been uh, releases that were unrated. This one has been rated for 16 and up. 
so I guess if you go to the flea market and you find this and you're 15, they're going to slap you hard. Okay, I was rather surprised when I saw uh, Volumes 3 and 4 in this series and Sealed, no less. We've already got Volumes 1 and 2 back there, but uh, I can't show them yet because uh, technically they belong to my wife's uncle. And I've asked my wife repeatedly if it'd be all right if we bought them from him. And she's always come back with, what's the point? We're going to wind up with them anyway, eventually. So eventually I'll be showing Volumes 1 and 2. This is Volume 3 of the Best of the Dean Martin Show, Variety Show. Now one of the uh, first two volumes has John Wayne as a guest star. Tom DeLuise, Peggy Lee, Peter Sellers, Juliet Prowse, George Goble, Gina Lola Brigida, and Orson Welles. Volume 4, Sealed. Michael Landon, Bill Cosby, Don Rickles, Rosemary Clooney, Rory Rogers and Dale Evans, Jimmy Stewart, Patelia Clark, Buddy Hackett, Goldie Hawn, Rowan and Martin, and Frank Sinatra. Okay, this next one is one that's been digitally colored, otherwise known as uh, colorized. Captain January. Normally, I don't care for the colorization of black and white films. The only time I've seen it uh, done where it was uh, to good effect, in which I thought they should have filmed it in color to begin with, but uh, frequently uh, the choice was not made to uh, shoot a film in black and white for budget reasons, except for with the uh, Poverty Road Studios but for artistic reasons. But the film in question is the John Wayne film, The Flying Tigers. And of course, the planes that they were flying, uh, with uh, growling teeth on the front, uh, red, just beautiful planes. And um, you know, that doesn't really come across in black and white, but in color, it looks great. Bud Buster. This is another rental copy. Okay, this is sealed, although I might have to open it because it is a musical which features uh, performances by Natalie Cole, Elvis Costello, Cheryl Crow, Diana Krall, Alanis Morissette, and Robbie Williams. The Lovely. Can't remember if I had mentioned this yet or not, but I also have a huge backlog of laser discs that I'm going to have to get to one of these videos. I received two packages of LaserDisc this week and um, have another large package coming. So I'm going to have to get to those too eventually. There was a character actor by the name of James Gregory, but this isn't him. He, this is a stand-up comedian. It's, interestingly, the actor James Gregory was in a couple of John Wayne films. Uh, if I remember correctly, the Sons of Katie Elder and a PT Boat uh, film called uh, They Were Expendable. So no, PT-109 is not the only uh, film out there centered around PT Boats. And of course you had the TV series, Mikhail's Navy, that was centered around PT Boats. I also have 
three packages of VCDs coming from Hong Kong, as well as a DVD from Japan, a CD from Japan, on really rare game for the Sega Master System. It wasn't released in the U.S. and was barely released in the U.K. And uh, got a uh, email from a good friend of mine on here on YouTube, Larry Bundy Jr., a.k.a. Guru Larry, a.k.a. the YouTuber formerly known as Screw Attack Europe. And um, he asked me to keep an eye open for that uh, game because it's really hard to come by and when you do come by it's it's expensive so I told him I'd keep an eye open for it now on eBay I have saved searches about a dozen of them every day I get an updated email on everything found uh, auction wise or uh, buy it nows they're available and in the several month period that I was keeping a lookout for this game it has never appeared there on eBay. Now Larry told me that uh, it typically goes complete with manual for uh, figures anywhere uh, in the triple digit range. But I had another uh, YouTuber, a subscriber of mine, contact me and it turns out he had a copy of the game that he was willing to sell me. Not complete though. Uh, it does have the case and of course the cartridge, but it doesn't have the manual. And uh, he asked me if uh, I'd be interested in buying it and if so, uh, make him an offer. Well, I didn't know what a good offer would be for, for a copy without a manual. So I contacted uh, Larry and uh, he got back to me and he said that, well, $40 was reasonable. So I offered the seller $40. He accepted. He's going to be shipping it out this weekend. And uh, he let me know that he also has, uh, he's getting rid of all of his Master System stuff. And he let me know that uh, he's got some other games that are rather hard to find. And would I be interested in them? and it turned out I was. So I bought all three of them. All right, I will be buying all three of them. Uh, I'm going to pay him in about a week. Also, keep on the lookout. I'll be doing a video uh, shortly. I've got a uh, video disc player coming from Japan. Now, this is a format that was never released outside of Japan. Well, you might be able to figure out which format that is, except there were more than one video disc formats released in Japan only. This is one of them. The further hint I'm going to give you is that this format was 3D uh, compatible. It had a 3D mode. Some players had the 3D, 3D mode, some didn't. And if you wanted to use the 3D goggles, uh, you turn it on. If you didn't, you turn the 3D mode off. I'm also getting a boxed set of the goggles. Now you might be asking how much did all this cost me? Well, he threw in, well, he's selling me three discs to go with it. And um, the total price, including shipping, is around $700, which I've already paid him. But uh, half of that is in shipping. If anybody out there has shipped anything heavy from Japan, you know how expensive it is to ship anything of weight out of Japan. Don't know why they're that special, but that's the way it is. So keep an eye open for that. Until next time, stay awesome. Hey look, I did it in less than 15 minutes. I have over 8,000 uh, films that are placeholder entries. These are films that have not yet been released on DVD or Blu-ray, but uh, people want to add them to their folders. I haven't had a lot of luck submitting the titles as new submissions or placeholders, but I was able to get this one uh, accepted. Any place but home. Hello YouTubers, this is Cessna Ace back again with another 10 video ads video.
Now, I'm going to have to try and make this as short as possible because that intermittent sound problem is back. Enough of that. Um, so, I'm going to try to do this uh, real quick. Now, even though these are VHS tapes, I enter in my VHS tapes at the online database DVD Aficionado. They release, uh, or they cover releases worldwide in the DVD and Blu ray formats. But they also allow you to create folders for other formats and then place uh, releases in there. Uh, I have folders for VHS, VCD, CED, UMD, Laserdisc. Uh, you get the idea. And then they have a major company like Universal hadn't, hasn't been released on DVD yet, but then I know that there are others that I have on video that haven't been released on DVD or Blu ray yet either. Obviously, this is a rental copy. Tampering with this label requires you to purchase this item for $99.95. Now, you might think that is high home. Made for TV movie from 97, I think, if I remember correctly. Features in the cast Alan Thick. If you remember who he is. Rather surprised that uh, a release from a